People with ADHD are very susceptible to too much pressure. And one of the things that we can use to hack this internally is replacing the word should with the word could. And this might seem very basic, and on a level it is. But the effects of this are surprisingly profound. For example, I really should take out the garbage. I could take out the garbage. Same premise, exactly the same thing. I should do it implies this obligation, this ugh. <laughs> it adds a density, it adds a heaviness to the task. I don't want to do a thing that I have to do, that's so draining. I want to do things because I want to do them. Part of PDA, um, pervasive drive for autonomy, if you know that, that, that language, that phrase, the big thing in uh, ADHD or autism. We don't like being forced to do things, and, and on a level I don't really think anyone does. So rather than I should take out the garbage, ugh, what a drain. Well, I could, yeah, that's a thing I could do. That also inherently implies the option to not do it. I could not do it. That's an option. But because I don't have to, I could, I could not, so I might as well. Small, and you might think this isn't relevant or that a big that big of a deal, but let me tell you, it's surprisingly effective at reducing the internal friction that we as people with ADHD often feel, which is often the thing that stops us doing this, the task. Because it's rarely the task being too difficult that's the barrier. Usually, the biggest problem for us isn't that the task is hard, it's that thinking about how hard the task is, is hard. But the task is easy. You probably know what I mean. I really should call my mother-in-law. Yeah, I could call her. Don't have to, but I could. So I actually, you know what, I feel like it. I might. So I will. Different energy. Simple one today. Replace your shoulds with coulds and watch the pressure dissolve. Enjoy.